Hello, and today I'll be showing you how to use stamping on Scratch. First, I'm going to call this Sprite Stamping. And maybe change up the costumes. I'm going to choose... Maybe... An apple. You can choose or already have one that you want. Now you gotta drag out when green flag is clicked, go to zero zero and switch costume to the costume, set size, clear graphic effects, show, and go to front layer. What this this does is every time the green flag is clicked, it will switch costume to whatever costume you choose and then let's say you ch make this that big when you click the flag it will automatically go to zero zero this is a very good technique to put these when your green flag is clicked otherwise if you mess up on this coding it's there without this if i move this click the flag it's still there now this it would return it to its position now, we're going to take out the forever loop and a if statement. Then, you're going to take out a mouse down. And, you're going to take out another if, or duplicate it, and make this if key space is pressed. Now, we're going to finally add the stamping extension. So, you're going to click on this add extension and choose pen. When the green flag is clicked, erase all, and then stamp when mouse is down. Then, outside of all the ifs, go to mouse pointer. And if space is clicked, next costume. I might choose a food this time. So now, when you start, the apple or whatever costume you have will follow your mouse. If you hold down the left click button or on your mouse pad, it will start st stamping. It's easier to do with mouse down if you're in full screen mode. So now you see that it's creating a clone that's not moving of whatever you have. If we press space, it will change my costume, and then you can stamp that. Instead of having it glitching out, you can also put a weight next to the next costume. If you want to redo, you can always press the green flag. That's how you make a stamping project on Scratch.